The floodgates have been very open with new LEGO Star Wars set pictures over the past week, and that continues today with the 75378 Bark Speeder Escape. This one, like the Droidica, like the Pod Racer set, and like the Sith Infiltrator, will be releasing on May 1st. Its price is 30 US dollars, and it includes 221 pieces. Now, we're gonna see four minifigures in this set with Kellerman Beck, which looks like an amazing figure. We also have Grogu, and then we have the same great 501st Troopers from the 501st Battle Pack in 2012. They just look a little uglier now. If you want to get some without the helmet holes, or if you want to add a couple shock troopers to your scene, check out mnrshop.com. I've got these in stock. The reason I bring up shock troopers is because some people look at this set and think they should have been included. And I agree if it was based on the latter half of the scene, but because this is like the fresh out of the Jedi temple escaping the temple scene, it definitely fits with the 501st troopers. And I really love that they at least gave a little bit of extra scenery with the lamp post, possibly the first lamp post in Lego Star Wars history. So I think technically that lamp post is part of the Jedi Temple. So it might be the actual first part of a Jedi Temple that we've ever had in a set, if I'm not mistaken. Moving on to the bark speeder though, the build looks really good. That white and red really pop together and it's accurate to what we see in the scene. They did add on a couple of very large stud shooters to the front of the set, which I think in this case, more so than really any of the use of that stud shooter really does take away from the look here, which is unfortunate. So there are some stud shooters, nice play feature, bad for the aesthetics of the model. The back end of it looks like it's covered in stickers, which will add nice detail, but again, should probably be printed for the price. And then we actually have the sidecar, which is gonna have a space for Grogu and his pram. So I've got the last one here from 2013 and the sidecar could actually spin around completely. And on this new one, it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case as there are like actual Technic connections holding it in. I almost forgot to address this. This did leak from Amazon UK. And one of the promo images is just one of the weirdest promo images Images I've ever seen. It's got the R2D2 on Tatooine, but it also has the Bark Speeder on Tatooine and then the Tantive Hallway on Tatooine. It's the weirdest like trio of sets in a desert. Like they could have like I don't know why this is the way they did the picture. It's just it's just weird. I don't know. I just wanted to show it and talk about that it's weird. And now you know that I think it's weird. And you probably think it's weird too, because it just is weird. I think I love everything on this set, except for the helmets on the 501st Troopers. Those are an unfortunate downgrade from what we saw in 2020. But for $30, this seems like a really good value, at least compared to the last Bark Speeder set. The last Bark Speeder set was $25 in 2013. That's about $34 in today's money. And so for $4 less, I feel like this is about right in the realm of Lego. So I feel like they did a pretty good job retaining the value for your money on this particular one. So let me know what you think about this Bark Speeder Escape set. It's pretty much what we expected, except the addition of the lamp post. I think that was the one thing here that we didn't know or didn't expect. And I think at that it's a really cool addition because it just adds a little something extra to the set. And it's probably the reason it's 30 instead of $25. But hey, it's a good set, except for the helmets and the file first troopers. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. It makes you subscribe so you don't miss my review on this set as soon as I get it in hand. See ya.